Hello guys, we have MacBook Air today, which is MacBook Air A1466. It turns on, you can hear the shine, but there is no display on the screen. This is the uh, most common problem on this MacBook Air, which is a uh, year from 2013 to 2017. So let's check what could be wrong with it. So it's starting up, but there is no display. So this is the MacBook Air. I'll put the charger in and uh, you can see from here that, yeah, okay. See, adopter sense is working, it was green, so there's nothing wrong with the sensor chip because uh, I will turn it on. You hear the chime and Nothing. No display. The fan is spinning. Uh, fan spins and you know it's turning on. So, so we will diagnose the problem and uh, where the problem could be. And um, first of all, what I will do, I will check uh, the backlight views because this is. Uh, Locate it. I will show you here. It's located right here, and uh, I will show you under the microscope. So we will check uh, if um, the backlight fuse is okay. If backlight fuse is blown, then it's an easier repair. Otherwise, we have to look into some other problems as well. So let's put the multimeter in continuity mode and check the backlight fuse which is just located here. <coughs> so backlight fuse is all good. Let me check if the caps are... No, that's all good. These are located in the backlight. So that's all good. So the next thing I will most probably doing is check the LCD connectors. Okay, so do you see here the water damage? See that uh, is triggered red, but I don't see anything, you know, any any form of uh, damage here so in this case uh, the next thing I would like to do is check the lines so first thing first I would like to, 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 to check the J8300 which is the LCD FPC connectors and these are the backlight these two. This is on uh, SOSW LCD backlight terminals here and I would like to check these ones and this one but before I do that I have to I'll put the multimeter here and <coughs> I have to turn it on so that I can read what we are getting. As you can see the fan is spinning to, uh, okay, so the next thing I have to <coughs> do is you hear the shine, and then the next thing I have to do is um, so this backlight line, which is this one here. I think I should put the multimeter here. So that you can see anyway so I will show you here so, so let's see what we are getting in the volt mode I can see as well you can see here yep. so what we are getting here so this is unconnected and this is the one do we have anything here this is 1.9 and this is a way lower than what we should be getting <clears throat> on backlight backlight won't turn it on on 1.9 so 
so there is not we are not getting enough power on backlight line so that uh, we can get the display okay fuse is okay and uh, the next thing let's go back here and let's see where these are connected to okay and this is J3300 and let's check the number Okay, and this is the cap here, which is connected to, these are just points where you can, these are test points, so, okay, let's check here, this is our, and this is the backlight fuse, most probably, yes, and this is where it is connected to, these are test point, and this is coming from there and if we go on again on the other which is connected here all right so let's check this one again it is okay this is also backlight and see okay so this is backlight is directly connected to u7701 so u7701 is the backlight so most probably uh, this is responsible to provide the enough power so that we can have display on the screen so now what we have to do uh, because we are not getting enough power on the backlight uh, terminals on the fpc connectors of the lcd so the next thing we have to do is to check the backlight ic which is not providing enough power as we know that this is also a little bit uh, looks like liquid damage as well so the backlight is located at the back of um, the, the other side of the board so uh, we will open it up and uh, see uh, we will check the backlight IC so the next thing we will be doing is uh, taking the board out the board is out then we will check what the condition of this board is from the other side so now I will skip this video in fast forward so that we can save some time
So we have taken the board out. So the next thing we will be doing is uh, just make it closer. Yeah, okay. So now we know when we remove the FPC connectors, uh, we have seen this is a sort of liquid image. Now we will give it a little bit more closer examination. What we could find. So we have already looked at the, this part of the logic board because this was on the top. So let's look at the back side. So if we find out anything which is liquid damage. Mm -hmm. So guys, uh, now this is um, this is the backlight I see. So now I will show you here. Okay, do you see? Okay. So you can, we can see clearly. So we have got enough evidence this this backlight I see. I can see a little bit of moisture damage here and then the burn part here. Yeah. So uh, we don't have to, I mean we can check if um, we know those uh, backlight uh, power is coming out of this. Uh, uh, backlight I see this is your 7700 um, yeah, I think. Yeah, I was I think so what we will do now we will out. remove it and put the new backlight I see so guys uh, this is one of the macbooks which is uh, easier to find the fault where you can physically see where the damage is so we have uh, uh, checked the backlight uh, I am backlight terminals where we are not getting enough power so that the backlight can turn on and that has indicated that maybe there is something wrong with the backlight IC which we have looked at and we can clearly see it's like sort of uh, moisture damage and we can see the burn mark so the next thing we will be doing is removing and putting new backlight IC so now the part number for this backlight IC is a 550 so I will just mark the orientation which is this way too. So now we will remove it. Okay, so I will put some text on. Okay, and then let's see how much damage is there underneath. So, uh, this backlight problem is, uh, is, is spreading a lot, you know, so there are, I think I fixed more than, I don't know, hundreds of things with the backlight problem. So now I can see clearly that uh, this sort of that liquid green thing around. It should come out anytime now. 
these sort of RCs take a little bit longer on MacBook because uh, the thermal mass is quite large as compared to iPhones. iPhones I should come out easily. So I will put a little bit of more products so that it can help the solar joints underneath to melt quickly. This should come out now. Hmm. I can feel it, it's moving now. Wow, 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 wow. Do you see? As I was expecting. How about look here? Do you see, guys? Yeah. So, moisture damage here, moisture damage here, moisture damage here. This looks like this bag has come out. Anyway, so now what we will do, we will give it a clean and then we will put new IC and see how it goes. So we will give it a good clean. It's not even melting it. It's not even taking um, the solder off. I don't want to break the pads. Looks like it's doing something now. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, that looks better. Yeah. That is pretty clean now for me, it's just that. I will keep it another clean with isopropyl. I don't want to see any sort of oxidation on these beds because it's very important to have. Okay, so let's show you here. See, it's shiny, nice and shiny. Okay, now I will put a little bit of cotton. With my user. And give it one more day. And then we will put new eyes. In. Okay, okay. It's look pretty clean to you. Yes. Okay. Now dry this off. I like the area being clean, even the surrounding area of the IC. Now you can see clearly. See, there is no oxidation. Pairs are shiny, so we will get. Uh... Oh man, I I took one. I see how I've been losing most of these ICs. So this is the one which is, uh, I think you can see here. Can you? 
Don't forget, we have to put some flux in there and there and there. That's enough. Okay, I just spread it over so that it's all even. Okay. And I will move the things away. And I will just hold it on as much possible to the right position as much as I can. Okay, I will get the heat can and set the right temperature. What should be the right temperature? This is you can take one of our courses and we'll teach you. And I'm just holding it here now as much. Possible to which I can say. Okay. That looks pretty good to me, so <laughs> no, 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 don't move. So, when my desired temperature has reached, then on this half of heat gun, I will hear a bit. This is a good function. See, I hear a bit that is my desired temperature, and it's set it down now. I will leave it here. Okay, guys, so that looks like it's all settled down. So, we have replaced the backlight IC on MacBook, uh, A1, MacBook Air A1466, which is board number 820-00165. And um, hopefully it should work now because uh, that was uh, moisture damage and um, yeah. So see how it goes. So I will put you here. Okay, so we get this. And here. Oh, that looks good to me. And there you go. We don't need that just to test it, and then we will put the DC in. Looks okay. I would like to put this system here so that we can see in it not the right one. Um, David, yes, where is the SSD for this one? Okay. This is the one. Oh, sorry, I'm putting it wrong. So, that's fine, no problem. <laughs> um, I was putting it in a um, Wi-Fi module. Anyway, so yeah, and of course we have to connect. I will put one of the screws here so that the board is stable. Okay. And
Okay, I hope that's all we needed just to check it. Maybe I can put that USB connector as well, or maybe one of the fan. I can do it on this Okay. So how it goes. I'm going to get the cable. Okay. Back in the charger. Come on. Okay, fan is spinning. Do I see any light? Yep. All done. So we have got the display which was the backlight IC on MacBook Air A1466. I think this is 2015 or 2016. So that's all done. We will put it back properly and so that the customer can come and pick it up. So thanks guys for watching. If you are interested in learning this sort of um, repair, electronic repair skill, or if you have got a MacBook which you have got no display, especially these MacBook Airs, they have got uh, this common problem, you can bring it down. We are in Hamilton, New Zealand. And um, if you would like to take some of these courses, I will put the, all the info in the comment box. Thank you very much for watching.